The Herbsters, without a doubt, have an organisation that's second to none. You know, we, we've raced in most ski racing countries in the world. Uh, their, their commitment to, to the sport when they, when they, uh, when they take part is, is second to none. Their professionalism, the, the, the preparation of the equipment, the, the, the interest, the, the attitude to the sport is spot on. It's probably the, my most favorite, the Catalina race, uh, being out in the ocean, uh, the different conditions that we have, you know, it could be smooth, rough, windy, uh, white caps, I mean, it, and it changes, you know, it can change from, you know, every mile, every five miles, it could be a different condition. Some of the best skiers from around the world came in and uh, there were 25 guys from Australia, our guy Chris Stout was from Australia, and then our uh, observer was uh, one of the best from uh, England and uh, we were pretty proud, Foster and I, to have him in the boat. The competition here this year is probably going to be the toughest I think it's been in, in a fair few years. You know, you've got Stephen Robertson and you've got plenty of guys, Wormsley. They're all coming from everywhere for this race, so it's going to be game on. My name's Kerr Brooks and I'm from Great Britain. I'm in Intermediate Men, which is the ages of 16 and 24. The best of the world come here and uh, we're here to compete against them, so it should be good. Catalina Race is, is, is quite an event. Uh, you line up 125 boats between two oil islands there in Long Beach Harbor and you go as fast as you can out that jetty with boats right off to the side of you and skiers right off to the right and left of you and make your way over to Catalina uh, to a little town called Avalon Harbor and turn around and head back to Long Beach and uh, hopefully if your skier's still there and Everything's worked out well with the boat and your, your crew. Uh, you have a shot at uh, getting to that breakwater on the Long Beach Harbor and hopefully have a shot at winning the race. As soon as that sort of the flag drops and the race starts, I mean, you've got a hundred things running through your mind. Where you want to be, who you're behind, um, what, what, what it's going to be like when you go outside that break ball. You don't know whether it's going to be calm or rough and you just, you don't know anything. You just got to, you just race, I guess, and it all sort of pans out. Uh, getting over, over to the island, normally it's, it's fairly smooth. Uh, this year it was rough, choppy, and uh, there were swells coming from every direction. There's, you know, there's boats 10 to 15 feet off other boats. There's skiers off your deck, and uh, it's quite exciting. There's a lot going on. Nobody's giving an inch, and these skiers are giving it their all. I mean, these are some uh, pretty tough individuals. It's a pretty gnarly race out here. Um, Catalina's, it's rough. It's sort of it's a one-off, you know, 42 foot boats. We don't do that anywhere else. You win this race, you're considered one of the best skiers in the world.
we, we always go to win. We, you can't win everything, but you have to go with the attitude to win. Well, the race today, we, we actually had a fairly decent start for the first quarter mile. And then we had a pleasure cr cruiser uh, come up in front of us, and we got uh, uh, hit some big waves, and we had to slow down a little bit for it, but then lost a little ground to, to first and second place uh, eventual winners of the race, uh, and uh, put us back about half a mile. Uh, but uh, once we got out of the breakwater, we started picking it back up. Uh, got to the island, I think, fifth or sixth overall, and uh, worked our way back to third place coming in the breakwater. It was a good day. We've been uh, doing this for quite some time. Uh, it was good to have my dad up in the air watching us there, and uh, we had uh, some of the best we could put out on the day in the Terrible Herbs guys. We had uh, Tim out there taking uh, third, and uh, us in a fourth. We were definitely leading or putting a Trying to get the lead, I should say. Actually, Jerry Herbst towed me for the very first time, it's gotta be 30, over 30 years ago? 35 years ago, probably? Yeah, thir actually 32 years ago, Jerry Herbst towed me um, in a 19-foot GMT, and, um, and that was my entry into uh, ski racing. Yeah, you're trying, up, you're trying up the skiing, I guess. You try and get out there after work or on weekends both days but I mean I've spent three weeks in Europe before I came here because I raced for an English team so I had two really big rough races, I got a first and a second two weekends in a row and then I came here so it's sort of been a month trip for me this time. Um, at home we use 21 foot boats, in this race I think you're allowed to use up to 43 foot boats so you know you're skiing different, you're skiing behind a bigger boat so it just gives it a bit more glamour to this race, it's, it's great, we love it. Just cry, just cry, just cry.